Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell and I am back with Junk Journal July and today I'm going to do prompt 6 which is layers on layers and 7 as framed. So <laughs> I have some things just set here on my desk. It looks a little messy so I don't have too many things to want to use because you know sometimes if you have too many choices it just causes you to not be able to decide um, so let's see where I can start I think what I want to do is just add some background papers and then a quote and a frame. So I'm, I'm going to work on both pages and kind of flow, do the layering on both. I'm very sad to lose this so maybe I love, 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 love the discoloring here of this paper but I'll have to lose some of it unfortunately. Um, but let's see how far we can get what do I have here? Little things. Um, layers on layers. Um, oh, so I still have some things left from Dagmar's goodie box. I'm wondering. And I don't want to lose that, but that makes it a little harder to decide what to put where. Maybe tear around this. Okay. Just concentrate on not tearing this iron on. I think I got it. It can go over to that. And maybe even if I just have the foxing on this side. This is uh, it's a plastic bag and I was hoping it would tear but it's not going to tear. Maybe let's try the... Uh -uh, I'll have to cut it. Kind of looks like printed vellum but it's a plastic bag. So what have you guys been up to? <laughs> oh, that certain look okay. Um, it's been pretty quiet here at my house. I have been working in the garden and um, just you know keeping up with the day-to-day -day things. It's terrible but true. We'll 
will be leaving soon for a wedding in Saskatchewan, which we are all very excited about. That's upside down. Um, yes, so I'm trying to get everything clean and done before we leave. I just like to do that when we're going away for an extended time or going away. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's just. Let's glue this down. It's almost like a mini spring clean to, for me. I just like to get everything in order before I leave. So <laughs> not to bring on any bad omens, but yeah, that's just what I like to do. And I might have to get somebody to stay at my house because I couldn't find um, a spot for my animals and so I am still looking for somebody that can come in and stay with them and actually it's you know they'll probably be more comfortable at home anyway so they don't normally like to stay at the kennel so there's still a couple of things to do before I leave in about two weeks time. Luckily we have irrigation in the garden, so the garden should be good. But if I have somebody living here, I can ask them to water my plants and do all of that as well so it's kind of just two things but usually I have one girl coming in and she'll stay here but she can't do it this year so I'm in a bit of a terrible <laughs> bad situation anyway I'll figure that out at some point this week sooner rather than later I hope Okay, so we are getting some layers here. I know you probably think, oh, but that's what you do every time. But I didn't, like I said, I actually just don't want to lose all the foxing here. <laughs> it's, um, oh, where did I put the envelope here? So, yeah, that's why I'm... I don't want to add too many layers actually on this page. Maybe I should have done a different page, but anyway, it will work out. It's layers. We do layers all the time. So this is actually an easy prompt. So yeah, what else have we been up to? We've been just like I say, cleaning. And I had a. Oh, is that stamp? I'm wondering if I should do it on this side. Or even. Mm -mm. Um, anyway, I've been cleaning, trying to get things done before we leave, like for videos and things as well. So it's been just a little crazy. But that's summer, I think. <laughs> or do you find that summer is more a relaxed time of the year? For me, summer is definitely way more busy than the rest of the year because um, my kids come home from university so I have more people to feed, more people to clean after, more more everything. The garden is added to the regular house chores 
Um, that won't work. And yeah, it's just a crazy, crazy time. Maybe I should do it here. And then do my... Oh, but I wonder if my pen will write on this plastic bag. I might have to use a Sharpie. I didn't think of that. I think I'll have to use a Sharpie. Okay, well that's doable. Oh, now I lost the little flower. Got an another one here. Okay, let's do that. Um, <gasps> the glue, I forgot the glue. It's actually very early in the morning, so I thought the glue oops, would be okay, but... Obviously, the glue already heated up enough to start acting up again. So I just try to do this. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Not a good idea. Now the one with the four leaves fell on the floor, but we'll just layer. No. Nope. One leaf that broke off. Mm. Okay, now that broke too. Okay, anyway. Let me see. Just give me a second and I'll pick up that one flower. I just got a bunch of them. <laughs> These are from my hydrangea bush from last year. And it's just white flowers. It's so I just picked a couple, had it in a vase, and just left it there to dry out over the fall. And I and then I just brought the flowers upstairs. And I just love them. Okay, so that is layered and maybe I'm going to just do framed and then because I kind of want it to go on from here and then I'll write my quote for it to kind of look like one spread anyway I'm just going to glue this on here to make it go from one page to the next. And I want my quote to kind of go through over both pages and then I'll have the foxing there, which would be exactly what I wanted. And I'm just kind of bundling this up, not gluing it down flat. Let's add that flower there. So I have this frame that I absolutely love. And I wanted this. I was thinking of having it there, but I'm thinking now I should put it here. And then there'll be enough room for my quote.
Mm -mm, I do think it looks better here. This is just a little die cut that broke. I think it's the Tim Holtz um, wildflowers, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'll just put that behind. And um, I think I need a little bit more something white. And now you kind of lost the... Where's that plastic bag? The, you can't see the polka dots there but maybe I can add some polka dots on here and bring the layering in here on this side too okay yes I do like that so let's do that so today will be kind of a shorter video because I think I am done. I don't want to overdo it. I know it said layer upon layer. Mine is kind of layer upon layer, but still the same thing that we usually do, just a simple collage. Um, I watched Meg's video for layer upon layer yesterday and she did a beautiful video she had. Oh, she tore her pay, uh, a journal into and then put it back together with a vellum um, like a vellum window I would say and then did the layering on that and it was just gorgeous I'll have to do that on something at some point <laughs> it was just so pretty so let's see I did add some acetate to my fabric tag so let's see I'm just looking there's this washi tape let's add some washi tape actually saw the washi tape and I was thinking I wanted to add a little bit there. That is just a big oops, <laughs> white piece. Okay, now I don't have enough fingers for the washi tape. Let's move on. It's like I'm having a squirrel moment. Anyway, I was going to say I did add some acetate to my fabric duck and it seemed to definitely have worked or helped. And I also took my fabric duck in to the other part of my room where there is constant air conditioning. Here it's like a it's a covered porch, I would say. <laughs> it's kind of a weird space, but anyway. Um, and so there's no air conditioning or heating in this area where I normally f record. And um, so it gets very hot up here. We also have a flat roof house, so it does get very hot up here from time to time. I have a little portable air conditioning unit in here, but I don't let it run throughout the night. I usually, I, it has a timer, so I start it early in the morning. And then when I, by the time I get here, it's nice and cool. Do I want that in the back? Or do I not want that in the back? So anyway, I think maybe for the fabric tag it the changes in the heat might be 
a bit much to handle, not sure. I actually don't like the... Maybe if I have less, just a little bit. So maybe that was just the fabric tag telling me, take me inside, please. I'm too warm out here. I don't like it. Anyway. <laughs> this is an entire roll of like the jean top stitch thread that my little kitten got a hold of and she took everything off the row it was brand new and um, so now I just use it for <laughs> everything in here do want it to touch that a little bit as well to bring that into the picture of my butterfly maybe I'll use the wet glue because there's lots of layers there so the glue can kind of seep into all the layers and adhere so I did watch a couple of other people's junk journal July as well that I really enjoyed. I watched, an, well it's a new channel to me, maybe some of you have watched her before. Um, it's My Life Myths. It's, I really like her channel, it's very calm, very, it's just, yeah, I just really enjoyed that. And the other... I do want that underneath. The other channel that I watch regularly is Lee Create. She's doing Junk Journal July as well. So go see what everybody is doing. It is fun. I think I like that. Okay, so now for my quote. And I'm just wondering... Hmm. Got one off. <laughs> Do I need another flower here? These little stems, even though they're very small, is very hard or very prickly. flower. should have some tweezers for these flowers. Probably too much glue. Definitely too much glue. Okay. Yep. We're, my daughter from Australia will be home soon, so we're all very excited about that. We did see her over Christmas, but when they're that far away, it's just you miss them you're a bit more concerned and definitely miss them more than when they're just around the corner or I won't say more but I don't know how to explain it it's just you're a little bit more weary of where they are and what they're up to and you know are they okay so anyway <laughs> I'm just happy she'll be home and doing new things here from closer to home next year so anyway that is my layout now I need my quote and I think I decided I'm going to do it in a sharpie which is not ideal but I don't think this my pen will write on here yeah it doesn't it kind of you know how the ink starts spreading after a while so I think the sharpie let's just see 
Yes, the Sharpie will be, have to be the answer. Um, so my quote is, embrace the glorious mess that you are. So let's see if I can... Um, write that on here. crazy about that but it will we'll have to do it. It would probably be, have been better if I just wrote it on this. Oh, oh well. It is what it is. Embrace the glorious mess that you are. Anyway, that is my spread for today. I will be back in a couple of days with two more spreads. Um, and do go see what the other people are doing. Um, thank you, Meg, from um, Meg's Journals and Get Messy Out Art for hosting this uh, very, this great um, collaboration with lots of people coming in and uh, doing what they're doing. And um, I will see you again soon. Bye.